Hello and welcome back to another episode of Friday Minis. Today, we're going to take a look at the Tab character. Why? Because it is a very interesting character. In fact, it is one of the most dynamic characters that you can type on a keyboard. Most of us think of Tab as essentially just adding a bunch of space. However, you'll be surprised at you know, the actual convenience that can be brought about by the original definition of the Tab character. To demonstrate this, I'm actually going to open Notepad and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a monospace font. And you may not know what this means if you haven't been following my channel from 3 or 4 years back. A monospace font essentially means that every single character in that font has the same width. So as you can see very quickly, 1 takes up as much space as O, O takes up as much space as L, and so on. Every single character takes up the same amount of space. So here's the deal, I'm going to type the tab character and I'm going to count how many spaces it takes. There you go, 8 spaces. A tab character is going to create a space of 8 characters. Except, does it really? I'm going to come to a new line now, I'm going to type 2 characters and I'm going to press tab. See, now the tab character is only 6 spaces long. In fact, the cool thing about the tab character is that it has a variable width. This means that whenever you press tab, the objective is not to actually insert a specific number of spaces. In fact, the objective is to reach a specific point. As you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm pressing tab, drawing the pipe character, pressing tab, drawing the pipe character, and essentially those are the markings of where the tab character will land. This means that if I want to make things like a table, and as long as I use the tab character, I can get things to line up very nicely in columns. And this is regardless of whatever information I put in each of the columns. As long as they're not so long to cause the tab character to overflow to its next slot, everything is going to be neat and organized because the tab character is able to vary its length. Of course, in a more modern application, for example Microsoft Word, pressing tab does not actually add a tab character. Instead, Microsoft Word just takes the entire paragraph and say, well, this is an indented paragraph. They will then give you an indentation, which if you like, you can actually grab one of the markers above and shift. This will affect either one or all of the tab characters that you've actually entered throughout the page. This is of course a more modern and should I say modified way in which, well, the tab character works. Traditionally, however, all it is, is a magical with changing space. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. You are watching Zero612TV.